WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN with me, David White. So what do we have today? Well, there's a lot of stuff going on. We're up uh, 1.5% on the S&P. NASDAQ's up 2.2%. Uh, and uh, 1% on the Dow. Crude's up, uh, you know, let's call it six-tenths of a percent. Gold's up uh, just a hair. So, uh, as I said, uh, a lot going on in the market. Uh, we'll talk about this and more on the show. Uh, probably the biggest one is China is closed. I think some of the money that normally would be out playing in uh, the Far East has come back to the market. That money could easily go back to China uh, as they are closed all week and open again a week from today. Other things going on, uh, options expiration really didn't have a lot of volume on Friday. For, a, uh, for options expiration. Uh, it had enough. Today and tomorrow are options rollovers. I don't put a lot of uh, significant uh, value in movements uh, both uh, uh, on Monday and Tuesday. Generally, if today's up, tomorrow's down. Uh, other things going on, uh, we're getting a new chief of stash, uh, uh, chief of staff, at the White, at White House, uh, generally, I think a lot of people misunderstand who's really powerful in the government. And after the president, the chief of staff, who really decides who gets to see, uh, who gets the ear of the president, is a big deal. Um, I think part of what no one's talking about is how pro uh, business this new uh, chief of staff is. Uh, compared to uh, Klain, who's now going to be leaving. Uh, also, uh, people thinking that the activists are coming out of the woodwork and uh, you should storm into all your stocks and buy them today because Salesforce uh, has some people coming in. I don't think it's going to make a difference uh, to the bottom line, and we'll talk about that on the show and why. In the meantime... Eh, hurry up and wait for my show in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic.